If you own lots of expensive knives, you need this machine. The more you own, the more you need it. If you have invested a decent amount of money in knives, it's a good bet you did that not just for how nice they look, but for how sharp they are. Consider how much their value diminishes with a dull or even slightly dull edge. Most people don't even know what sharp is. After the initial factory edge wears off, they never feel that super clean slice of a tomato again. That's why some people buy serrated knives, to cut tomatoes. That's crazy because serrated knives really don't cut well and a razor sharp knife does. They just can't get back to that razor sharp edge, not on their own. No matter how much I tried, I could never duplicate that factory fresh edge for myself. I didn't have the skill to pull it off, even if I had all the tools for sharpening, the steel, the croc sticks, the wet stones, I tried but failed to shave hair with my kitchen knives. That was until I bought my first chef's choice model 120. Instantly I became an expert sharpener and found myself offering to sharpen any of my friends and family's knives too because I hated seeing them struggle with dull knives. If you cook, and you like quality gear, like sharp knives, then you have a real treat coming. This is one of the best sharpeners you will ever buy. It's half the price of one good knife but it will keep all your knives razor sharp. Once you have the shape of the edge down with the first wheel or two, all you need is the last wheel on the right to touch it up once in a while and from then on, that's probably the only wheel you will need to use on your knife. Good knives only need sharpening once or twice a year. The key is using a great quality blade with a decent cutting board like wood or soft plastic and stay away from cutting into bones except with your one and only boning knife. Fish bones are no big deal but the other types can mess up a nice edge fast. Also, keep the uneducated away from expensive, sharp knives, give them something else to use. This is very important because it only takes about 3 seconds to ruin the edge on a good blade. I have owned the Chef's Choice Model 120 for about 12 years and love it. I bought this 15 trees or 15 for my Japanese knives. They come with a 16 degree edge so this model is better for them. I have changed all my kitchen knives over to 15 degrees now and I like it even better than the original 20 to 22 degree German edge. It makes a big, very noticeable difference when slicing just about everything. I keep my folding pocket knives at 20 degrees because they need to hold up to much tougher chores working outdoors. Some people claim that a sharpener like this can't produce the ultimate sharpeners of large Japanese whetstones and 15 to 30 minutes of sharpening. That may be true. It's a totally different approach to the task at hand. I believe I can get a more perfect, slightly sharper edge if I took 30 minutes per blade and slowly stroke the edge to sheer perfection of whetstone treatment. Sometimes, when I have nothing to do, I still like to play around with wet stones but 99% of the time, I don't find it worth it, I can get such a sharp edge in about 5 seconds with the chef's choice machines that it's not even close to deciding which system I'll use almost all the time. Comparing the two very different techniques is comparing apples to oranges. One way is results in a near perfect edge in less than 10 seconds and the other maybe gets you a slightly sharper edge but maybe not, but it will take several minutes maybe 15 or more to get similar results as I can get with the chef's choice system. Don't listen to reviews that say this will ruin you blades. It won't. No more than any system will. It's all up to you. Do you want to read the manual for 5 minutes so you learn how to use this thing or just wing it? It has the power and the discs to destroy a blade in seconds if you don't know what you are doing. But, it's so easy, a child can use this thing. You just need to take a minute at first so you know exactly what to do. Practice with cheap knives first and get your skill level up to the job. Once you do that, you're good forever but like anything, if you want to pay attention and get really good at it, you can always improve what you're doing. Once you have your edge right, the only disc you need to use is the last one on the right. It is like super fine, basically polishing the edge to super sharpness. It's almost all I ever use and if you wanted to, you could run your very best knives through that last disc every day, without any significant wear to your blade. 
Knife sharpening is mostly about consistent angle, and nothing provides fast sharpening with a consistent angle than chef's choice. I told you it will be the best thing you ever bought. That applies only if you really, really care about quality gear, sharp knives and the ability to always have razor sharpness to your expensive knives. Once you learn how to use this, and it won't take but a few minutes, you'll love it. The more quality knives you own, the more you will appreciate a device like this. It's so easy and so fast. The price is like nothing because it will restore all your expensive blades and probably outlast you. My first model 120 is right here working fine after a dozen years, but this new 15 Trezor is even better, faster and it's the exact same price I paid over a decade ago for my 120. So it's an easy 5 star review from me. For more information on the, the link in the description below.